Hey friends, Jim Gale here with Food Forest, and I just want to give you a little update on our gardens. I'm out here spraying water on the compost pile back there. Um, by the way, I mean, that's my first compost pile here in Florida. Completely different than the compost piles we create in Costa Rica. Uh, different leaves, different plants for the most part. Um, here I'm using cow manure that I bought at Home Depot in that bag right there instead of um, all the stuff that the community would produce, all the uh, organic uh, compost, the food scraps and everything. And we had chickens there and we had uh, a couple goats, we had rabbits. Anyway, a lot of that stuff, it was different. But bottom line is I just dug and turned some of that. And in about three weeks, I'm guessing, I think it's three weeks, um, it's loaded with black dirt under there. So what I did is I put the, uh, some of this black uh, cow manure on this raised bed. Now this raised bed was, I, I totally screwed it up and it's growing food like crazy. <laughs> now, what do I mean by screwing it up? I didn't do it the traditional way. I hyper seeded it to some degree. Um, I didn't plant rows. I didn't, it wasn't neatly done. It was done in the midst of a lot of chaos and a lot of busyness. And the beans are coming up, the squash are coming up, the cucumbers are coming up. Um, and yet there's some things that aren't coming up. So I'm like, I wonder why, right? Now, was it worth it that be, okay, so I failed at some of the things coming up. I still got a ton of stuff coming up. Like it's, the, the failure was about $3 of failure. The success will be worth, I'd say hundreds, if not over a thousand dollars, right? Um, and then what I did too, um, I learned a lot from a lot of great permaculture guys. Nicholas Bertner from uh, Texas School of Permaculture, I believe. Um, he just did a thing where 18 days he can turn this into incredibly rich black soil using layering. I didn't do it quite the way he suggested because um, there's no reason for that. I should have. But bottom line is I put um, some, of, um, blah, 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 some of the cow manure on top. I don't know if you can see that. And then I um, soaked it and I'm going to put the tarp back over it. It's already probably 50% done underneath. And then this top stuff will be done in another... I don't know, five, six days. Um, now check this out. I just love showing this. This is just a little compost pile I threw out a while back. In fact, look at that. That is so awesome. Look at those baby tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, papaya. And look at that. Now this is just seeds want to grow, folks. So what have I done? How much effort have I put into this? Like I could automated water it. I could, you know, come out and turn on the sprinkler and now it's rainy season so i don't even need to do that for the most part but if i needed to i could turn on the sprinkler and that would be it it'd be what two minutes a day but i come out here and i use it as a meditation i listen to my ear pods i chill out i love the process um by the way there's a possibility there's some really interesting stuff coming on over the next few days um i don't know and i'm not going to spread what i heard because it's so out there that it probably is just ridiculous. But the point is, pay attention. If it does come, holy cow, talk to me and I'll fill you in on what it might be. Um, again, probably just silly. Uh, all right, so now check this out. This is the one my wife did about a week after I did that one, right? Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that, row after row. These are just starting to come in. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Now, tell me, is that awesome? Um, now that's done, and, and it wasn't diamond pattern. Like a diamond pattern will get you a percentage more space, and, and they're probably, they could be not only diamond pattern, but they could be probably closer together. Um, a lot of permaculturists I know talk about hyperseeding instead of, um, you know, it's better to pack them in than to have them separated if you're looking at yield per square foot. And that's what really most gardens are all about. It's about producing a yield. So you might as well produce it in the most efficient way. Um, back here, I, I've got this uh, passion flower vine going up the trees. Now that passion flower, it's, uh, well, you know, passion fruit are incredible stuff that uh, will grow up and it will turn that whole area basically those trees into a trellis. Um, and then what, what do I got over here? Did I, oh yes, they're growing. Okay, Moringa, look at all those Moringa coming up. I put them in this bucket to shelter them a little bit. I put a hole in the bottom of the bucket 
those are baby moringa just popping out of there like crazy those things grow fast so it won't be long before they're just <clears throat> um and that's free nutritious incredible food so just want to share all that with you um i'm also trying another thing real quick i'll show you this here is that's some old basil that i just it was basically compost that turned into holy cow look at that that's beautiful i didn't even know that was here um and then this passion flower vine is coming up yeah see these are passion flower and those oh those are new leaves holy cow so what does that mean i haven't looked at this for a few days and maybe even a week and there's new leaves that means it's successful i wasn't sure because companion planting is real and i don't know all about it in your area or in any area frankly there's a lot to know but i wasn't sure that those that these flowers this passion flower vine that goes right up in there see those leaves those are passion flower new leaves look at that i wasn't sure that they would work with this hedge but we, i'm gonna i'm gonna use what's there and i'm gonna turn that hedge which to me it's worth something it's got some flowers it's nice it's beautiful it looks good it's a good barrier between neighbors but why not turn that into something that has all those and produces food so that's why I put that there. My goal is to turn this hedge into a trellis, have it be beautiful in every way and productive with food. So that's my thoughts on this. Uh, man, we can do this. We can change the world by being self-reliant by growing food at home. Love you and have a great day.